Hello everyone, welcome to this Fingster tutorial. Today, let's learn how to obtain the thread ID of a thread in Python. So, to work on threads, we need uh, a standard Python module which is called as threading. You can import the threading module. And uh, here is a sample program that I've written. So let's quickly see why it is uh, needed in the first place. So this is a sample program over here. Here we are actually creating two instances of the thread T1 and T2. And then target is equal to thread function tells us the function that this uh, thread should be running. So when you call this, it will go and execute this particular function over here. And here we have given a logging message thread underscore function threading action. So let's see what happens when we run this program. So when we run this program, we can see that uh, from the main, we have given this uh, message that creating the threads fine that got executed. And uh, then before we run the threads, we have uh, given a logging message saying uh, calling the threads. So that has got executed. Now we can see that we've called the mm, uh, two threads that is T1 and T2. So first time thread function underscore thread in action. Uh, this gets printed for T1 when T1 is called. And uh, again, when T2 is called thread function thread in action will be printed the second time. After that, um, call, completed executing the threads. This message would be executed. Now, if you have a look at this, let's say you're working on a very complex program and there are multiple threads there. If you look at the message here, it's not very clear uh, which thread is being executed. So, to and it is very important to know that uh, to know the thread ID in certain cases that helps you debug the problem better. So what can you do to uh, identify a thread? One possible thing that we can do is send something like args. We are just passing an argument here. We are passing an argument and uh, let's say uh, we give the name T1 for thread 1 and uh, T2 for thread 2. And we are passing this argument which means that there should be parameter uh, given the function. Let's name that parameter as name. And uh, instead of thread function here, let's say percentage s and then print that name here. So let's run this program. New table is not defined. I'm missing there are, I'm missing the double quotes here. So let me give double quotes. And yeah, you can see that the names T1 and T2 are given. But then there is a problem. Although you can identify the threads here, if you're running a big problem, you have to, uh, I mean, big program, you have to keep track of the names that you've given. And uh, then these names should be unique. So you have to keep track that uh, the names are unique and uh, also you have to give a name for every single thread. So this is an overhead. To avoid this, what we could do is use the thread ID instead. So thread ID is nothing but an identifier that is used for each and every thread. There are various uh, methods. We can use those methods and uh, retrieve the thread ID in Python. So let's see what are the different uh, methods available to print the thread ID. One way of getting thread ID in Python is by using threading dot get underscore ident function. This way. So this was introduced from Python 3.3. Basically, the thread information is stored in Python in the form of a dictionary. So it will have a key and the corresponding uh, thread information. So when you call threading dot get underscore ident call, I mean, function, 
it would return the thread id which is a key to those dictionaries now when you call this function note that the thread id is a uh, integer so we have changed it to percentage t and then we are not passing any arguments here and we have removed the parameter from uh, the previous naming thing now when we run this we can see that a unique identifier is given to both the threads there is another way of doing it and that is using get underscore native underscore id using this method uh, th so basically this method was introduced from python uh, 3.8 onwards and then this returns the thread id as it is given by the kernel of the operating system so it is the same system wide so now if you if you are looking to use the thread id that is given by the kernel then this function is the one that you should use now when we run this function let's see what happens so you get a identifier as uh, given by the kernel of the operating system you can also display the thread id using the logging messages to do that within the format string over here specify this particular format specifier so percentage thread this actually displays the thread id now when you run the program you can see that the thread id gets displayed that's all thank you so much for watching we hope this has been informative